YouTube, it's Rainstorm and today I wanted to show you uh, my little experiment with a magnetic heat engine. Okay, so basically what's going on here is to do with the, the Curie effect and with basically when you heat metals up to a certain point their crystalline structure changes and they lose their magnetic effect. So what I've got here is this bit of wire is stainless steel so that is not magnetic and then on the very end if you can see or not it's a little bit of paper clip ah there you go you can see it good happily I made a little hoop and that little bit on the end is um, iron and these are my magnets here and then a candle underneath and what will happen um, as the candle heats the metal up it will get to a temperature about 770 degrees centigrade and at that point the crystalline structure will change and the metal will lose its uh, magnetic abilities so then what will happen is it will fall down here because of gravity then when the metal cools down again what will happen I have to line it up but what will happen is it will obviously ping back up there. So what I'll do is I'll just line these magnets up because all it is is, is a, just a bit of wood with a magnet either side so I can just adjust it um, rather than just screwing it on there. Um, so I'll just adjust it all up and uh, get it working and then we'll light it and you can see how uh, I think this is quite an interesting property of metal and because I was using the forge um, it's a property you use when you're hardening stuff um, what you do is you you heat the metal up and you put them you see at the moment this is magnetic see look that's magnetic well once you heat it up it's not magnetic if you want to harden some steel you heat it up until it's no longer magnetic and you just quench it and that's basically how you harden stuff so that's quite a good uh, thing so when I discovered that I was also looking up on the internet and I found out about this thing which is obviously a uh, magnetic heat engine and it's very very basic um, so yeah I'll just line the magnets up and get it working and we'll light the candle and you can see what happens okay so I've got the magnets set up and now it's set up correctly you'll see what happens so when this is down as soon as you let go it'll want to ping towards the magnet so that's what you want to do and then what will happen is obviously the candle will heat the metal the metal will change its crystalline structure it will lose its magnetic ability and then it will fall down, it will cool down and then it will become uh, you know, ferromagnetic again and then it can go back up again Just get the candle in the right place. Move the candle over a bit more. So this is a simple demonstration of the, of the Curie effect. 
of the um, of what happens to iron or uh, ferromagnetic uh, metals when you heat them up and equally uh, things happen when you cool certain things down as well that's how you get uh, superconductors so it's just quite an interesting phenomenon and if you're bored like I was tonight um, it's quite easy to make I think if I made it slightly better, you know, if I tweaked it a bit more and made it a bit more precise, it would probably work a bit better. But realistically, it's made really crudely. Um, and like I say, all I've used is the long bit of wire is stainless steel, so it's not magnetic. Because I was having problems with, if I had the whole bit of metal magnetic, um, the magnets are so strong that you don't heat the rest of the wire up. And of course, you need it to lose its magnetic properties so I uh, used stainless steel which doesn't have any magnetic properties and then just hung a little tiny bit of metal on the end and then that's a lot easier for the candle to heat up um, and cool down and all those sorts of things I don't know what you could use it to do though. I don't know what you could actually um, use this principle for. So if anybody's got any ideas of something that you could do with it, um, leave it in the comments box. Okay, this is Rainstorm's blog today about the Curie effect and a magnetic heat engine. Okay then, it's Rainstorm signing off. not only of sound, but of mind. This is not a new world or otherwise. It is simply an extension of what began in the old one. It has patterned a ripping imprint on the pages of history since the beginning of time. time, 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 time.